any of you guys know me, you guys know I don't celebrate Halloween. And I always hear people saying, like, oh, Halloween's, like, their favorite holiday. To me, um, it's all about Christmas and my birthday. Not only do you get to have a huge family gathering and eat a whole bunch of tamales and whatever you want, but you get to have presents. That's why I never really understood why people, like, say that Halloween is their favorite holiday. I mean, obviously, like, I guess you get to dress up and do all that crazy stuff, but it's not for me. Uh, to me, I'd rather wake up on a fresh Christmas day and just open up a whole bunch of presents with my family. But uh, that's not really what today's video is about. Today's video is about birthdays and basically my experiences and stories about them. Never get old. Okay, so first of all, I have a lot of stories. So if you guys want me to make a part two, then drop a like, please, and subscribe, because I want to make it to 50 subs. Hey, that's pretty good. Before the end of this month. Uh, but anyway, let's just get into the stories. Okay, so my first story isn't really a story. Oh, bro. It's more like something that happens every single time I have a birthday party. Uh, okay, so picture this. It's the day of your birthday, and you wake up really excited. You know, you can't wait for your family and friends to come and give you presents and stuff. And I don't know if this happens to everyone, but to me, um, having friends and family at the same party is just a no deal. Um, half of the reason is because, like, your friends and family, they don't know each other. So chances are, you know, you're gonna have to ch try to spend time with one group and then have to rotate to the other group. And, you know, for me, I, I just, it never really worked out, you know. I, I really tried to get everyone involved, but it was just really difficult, you know. So I just stopped, stopped inviting my friends and I stopped making friends. But, you know, I just started inviting my family because, you know, family is always first. Also, it's easier to, like, you know, tell your mom to contact them. Because remember, until like last Christmas, I didn't have a phone. So, so you know, I would always tell my mom, Oh, text my cousin this, text my cousin that. Shut the hell up. Mom, oh, text my cousin this. Hey, you shut up when I'm talking to you! You shut your mouth! And I never really was able to get in contact with my friends. Right, so if you were one of my friends, um, don't get, don't get like little sad that you were never invited to my party. I mean, they were kind of lame anyways. But, uh, you know, I, I never really invited any of my friends. I think I only invited one, and that was when I was little, and this is where, like, the story comes in. Okay, so, yeah, I was, I think I was, like, 10 or 11 years old. I think that's, like, the grade that you're in, like, fifth grade. Um, and, yeah, so, my cousin and I... We were playing with toys, you know. I'm not ashamed to say, okay, um, I... I played with toys, you know, before, definitely not now, but anyways, what's it called? We're playing and stuff, and I forgot that I invited my friend, and I'm not going to say his race because it's not important. Why? Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, things happened, you know, he kind of made a little bit fun of me for having toys and stuff, like, he was kind of in an awkward place, so I, I tried to make everything better, you know. At the time, I had a PlayStation 3. And if you had a PlayStation 3, big up to you. Uh, so yeah, I had a PlayStation 3, I had Little Big Planet. Oh my god! Oh jeez, oh my god! You know, we went upstairs, we played Little Big Planet. Oh but, for some reason, I felt like he wasn't having fun. And, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but like, I really tried, like, I feel like I tried too much to make him have fun, to the point where he didn't have any fun. So like, basically he went home early that day. And, from that day on, I never really invited any of my friends over. Um, and if I did, I'm sorry I forgot about you because, uh, you probably weren't important and you probably weren't even my friend. Right, okay, so this next story, uh, didn't really happen on my birthday. Ooh, you suck. But it happened on my cousin's birthday. <laughs> but anyways, what's it called? Every year, um, he, like, goes to a place, like, he'll go to Raging Waters, you know, he'll go to Disneyland. And he'll invite me because his birthday is really close to mine. So yeah, the the year that uh, we went, it was it was our turn to go to Knott's Berry Farm. So we went there, you know, I got up really early because he had to pick us up. So we were on our way and we started to get a little hungry. So we stopped for breakfast at McDonald's. And that McDonald's in particular, um, it was, it, I, I'd say it's, it was pretty nice, you know. It had like one of those like little tanks that like had the railroads in it. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. 
I, I'll probably put an image right here so you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it was pretty nice. So we finished eating and we were talking and stuff because we were right next to Knott's Berry Farm and it didn't open till like another 30 minutes. So it was better if we just waited. So we went to the restroom, right? And as I was walking in, I, I it smelled like really bad, like, like worse than bathrooms usually smell. And so I noticed that most of the stalls are occupied, but I noticed that the big one at the back was not occupied. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to go use that one, you know, um, I'll, I'll be back and everyone can use it and we'll be all good. And we can go to Nosbury Farm and have the time of our lives. Um, what I didn't know is that when I would open it, I would literally see like, okay, do you guys know who Venom is, um, from Marvel Comics? Yeah. He's like a symbiote, right? There's a scene in Spider-Man 3 where the symbiote is literally crawling on Spider-Man and it's all like nasty and gooey. Well, when I opened the stall, I'm pretty sure I saw like a brown version of Venom. It might have been a poop. I'm not really sure. Yeah, it was definitely a poop because it smelled horrible. And I know what you might be saying. Oh, Marcos, why are you making such a big deal? People poop and don't flush all the time in men's bathroom. Well, first of all, that's false. If you poop, in a public bathroom, then your poop is basically a uh, unofficial contract that you have to flush every single time in any place that you're in. It doesn't matter. You have to flush. You have to wipe the sides. Yeah, because boys' bathroom, you know, we we sometimes have bad aim, and, and I'm sometimes guilty of this too, where we completely miss it and we hit the the rim, and it's all everywhere, and it's so nasty and stuff. But you know what? You should flush. If you're pooping in a public restroom, you have to flush. It's just common knowledge at this point. Oh my gosh, I just got so off topic. Okay, so yeah, so let me get back real quick. Um, Basically, yeah, it was a poop. And it was on the floor. It wasn't even in the toilet. It was on the floor. And uh, by the way, uh, Luis is the one that said it looked like a symbiote. So that kind of inspired me to do the whole symbiote comparison. But nevertheless... um. Let's just call the poop Penum. Uh, obviously P is for the poop and Venom because it looked like a symbiote. So just so there's no confusion there. Uh, Penum, I'm going to say held the world record for the biggest poop of all mankind. Um, whoever laid it must be an absolute unit because, uh, you know, it was, it was kind of humongous. I'm not going to lie. So yeah, um, I waited. I wasn't going to use that toilet at all because I couldn't stand the smell. It was horrible. So I waited uh, for the other stalls to be cool. Then uh, we got um, the older cousin, Romario. If you're watching this, big shout out. Um, so yeah, we got Romario. We had to show him. Uh, then we just started cracking up. And the whole time at Knott's Berry Farm, we were just, just telling each other jokes about how big the poop was, you know. Um, so yeah, it, overall it was a pretty good day, you know. At least for us. Damn, I feel bad for whoever had to clean that poop up. Alright guys, so that was the end of story time, birthday edition, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, these videos take quite a while to make, so if you could drop a like, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, also, I'm trying to make it to 50 subs by the end of the month, so um, share with your friends, you know, if you have any, if you don't have any, you know, I could be your friend, um, just DM me at this link, um, or link, what, well, at, I don't know, Instagram. It's, it's kind of different for me. I don't know. I, I'm kind of used to the whole thing. But anyways, what's it called? If you guys did enjoy, slap a like. I already said that. Comment down below if you guys have any ideas for me to do. Because your boy's running out of them. Your boy has a budget. So I just hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, see you guys next time. Holy out.